With both air conditioning packs on, the use of the APU for bleed air is limited to 15,000 feet maximum. With only one pack on, the use of the APU for bleed air is limited to 20,000 feet maximum. The APU can be started using batteries up to 25,000 feet. The recommended maximum altitude for APU start is 31,000 feet. This is not a limit, however. You can start the APU all the way to the max ceiling of the aircraft, 39,100 feet. Electrical power from the APU can be used all the way to the max ceiling of the aircraft. The Auxiliary Power Unit, APU, is located in the unpressurized tail cone. It is a self-contained unit which can make the aircraft independent of external pneumatic and electrical power sources. The APU may be started using the aircraft batteries, an external power source, or the normal aircraft AC power. The APU has an air intake flap, which, when it is open, ducts external air to its compressor inlet. In the cockpit, you can monitor the following APU parameters on the ECAM APU page. EGT and compressor speed. A APU generator. flat position. The various controls for the APU are located on the overhead panel. The APU master and start push button switches are located on the APU control panel. APU fire controls are located on the fire panel. The APU bleed switch is located on the air conditioning panel. It controls the APU bleed system, including the automatic function of the cross bleed switch. The APU generator switch is located on the electrical panel. In the normal lights out position, the generator is automatically controlled according to the electrical priority schedule. When deselected, the switch turns the APU generator off. The APU generator is activated by switching off other power supplies. The electrical priority is 1. Any engine-driven generator 2. External power 3. The APU and 4. The other engine-driven generator There is also an APU shutoff push button and an associated APU fire warning light located on the external power panel. This panel is located in the nose gear bay.